two forceps that are uniquely useful for cesarean deliveries. The Barton forceps are particularly useful for properly extracting a transverse head uh, that is the most common position of the head when doing a cesarean section in a patient who is not in labor. The Barton forceps are then placed such that the blade without the hinge, the posterior blade, is put on first and it is put on by feeding below the baby's occiput using the hand, depending on which side of the table you're standing on, that is naturally one that would go into the uterus behind the baby's head. The fingers behind the baby's head are used to feed the blade past the posterior ear and to a position approximately where the chin is. This will have the posterior blade placed and as a result, the handle in nearly a vertical position. The anterior blade is applied by lifting the upper edge of the hysterotomy and then sliding the blade between the baby and the inside of the hysterotomy so that when that blade is symmetrical with the posterior blade, the handles can be locked and with fundal pressure and upward traction, the baby then comes out. forceps have a widely separated shank, a short length, and they have toes that curve dramatically inward so that they create a basket-like structure that will fit behind the occiput of the baby's head, and it is used for the case where the baby has wedged itself into the pelvis and is in an occiput posterior position. So the application then is conventional in that it is put on in relationship to the head of the baby, not to the mother's pelvis, but it is used to reach down into the pelvis and pull up on that OP baby.
one more time at the baby. Aww. Very good.